For the third test, I'm going to install this custom heatsink. It's uh, one that I made from uh, two CPU heatsinks. I basically tore out the heat pipe in one of them and drilled a hole throughout the whole GPU heatsink. Uh, kind of jammed it in there, soldered it, and then soldered it back onto the CPU heatsink so they're actually connected. Um, I'm hoping that uh, it'll be able to disperse enough heat from the GPU into the CPU uh, so you should see you know, uh, fairly similar temperatures in between the two maybe not quite as extreme on the GPU side and it might be a fix for three red lights of death without actually having to amp up the fan controller I thought I'd actually show you where I was man mounting the temperature sensors here. I tried to get them as close as I possibly could to the actual processor uh, to give the most accurate reading of the actual temperature of um, the processor without tapping into the I2C. I didn't really didn't want to build a reader for that. So um, I'll be back here in a little bit with the custom heatsink. All right, I got the custom heat sink in there, and um, this is going to be the onboard fan controller. Half an hour idle test. CPU is currently 80. VGA or um, GPU is 82, and you can pretty much watch them climb. I'll be back in half an hour. It's been about a half an hour here. The temps have changed quite a lot now. The CPU is the hottest at uh, 142 and the GPU is only 136 uh, I'm going to do the Forza test and I'll be back in an hour it's been about an hour here and the uh, custom heat sinks performed exactly as expected the CPU is about 140 and the GPU is pretty much the same not sure what's going on with the fan approach it keeps jumping down to 132 um, but with this result, uh, it could be a viable way of uh, preventing three red lights of death from the Axiom consoles. Um, I'm going to set up the 7 volt fan mod and I'll be back. Got the 7 volt fan mod hooked up and I'm going to do the half an hour idle test. I'll be back in a half an hour. Half an hour here. Uh, CPU is at 115, GPU is at 111. Uh, I'm going to put in four zones back in. Alright, it's been about an hour here. The GPU is at 119, the uh, CPU is at 120. Um, I'm going to hook up 12 volt fan mod and I'll be back. Alright, I'm doing the 12 volt fan mod uh, half an hour idle test. I'll be back in half an hour. It's been about a half an hour here. The CPU is at 117, the GPU is at 111. Um, I'm going to put in fours, I'll be back in a Everybody knows I uh, go by my timer, but I also go by the race time. As you can see, this is fours, uh, it's an endurance race. Um, the GPU is currently at about 118, 119. CPU is taking a lot of the load, it's about 122, 123. Alright, uh, let's get a good air temperature here. Uh, about 91, 92, right around there. As you can see, the testing area is pretty much clear of all debris back and everything. Alright, so this concludes uh, temp testing.